Today we have new makeup at Sephora that's already highly rated. So I was looking as I usually do on Sephora. All of this makeup that I have chosen have at least four stars and above for reviews with a lot of reviews, not like five or 10. These have at least like 50 plus reviews. So first one, let's jump into cream contours, Tower 28 and Milk Makeup. Tower 28, they call this a soft contour cream. It's supposed to sculpt your face like the work of art you are. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's cute. And then we have Milk Makeup. This right here is in a stick packaging. And this is, I would say, more of a true contour. It's more on the cool toned versus Tower 28. It's more of a contour slash bronzer in one. Let's jump in. We're gonna do the underpainting. And I'm gonna do one to one, even though they're completely different colors. I still wanna see how, like the application, the blendability, how it looks on the skin, all that good stuff. So left side, let's go with Milk Makeup. Well, this feels a lot creamier and more balmy in comparison to their bronzer stick, which I'm not the biggest fan of. I think it's a little dry. I'm gonna use the Fenty 125 face brush. The color already looks pretty good. It's not too cool toned, but it is a good neutral tone where it is going to give my, my complexion a depth and shadows and not just warmth to my complexion. It's blending out really good. I'm not really pressing too hard. I just wanna see how it's going to blend out. And the only thing on my skin, I don't have any kind of primer. I just have my skincare. Now I'm gonna go with the Tower 28. I'm gonna take my Makeup and Mario F1 face brush. Also feels nice and balmy. I'm just gonna jaw with my fingertips. Yeah, you can see a difference right away. This is not a contour. The blendability is just incredible on this. A lot easier than Milk Makeup, even though Milk Makeup was already easy. It doesn't look bad, but it just looks like I did bad self tanner on my skin versus milk makeup you can see the shadows they look a little more natural let me just go a little heavier on this side so tower 28 20 dollars milk makeup 24 dollars tower 28 has a little bit less product versus milk makeup even though it looks like you get more i will say from the blendability aspect tower 28 was a lot easier like i said it's a little bit more emollient in comparison to milk makeup moving on <laughs> foundation this is by YSL and this is their All Hours Foundation, their Luminous Matte Foundation with SPF of 30. They have reformulated this from the previous All Hours Foundation and I see so many people talking about this. It's highly rated. So the retail price is $60. It's supposed to have a matte luminous finish, full coverage, and it's supposed to deliver up to 24 hours with a weightless feel for a flawless looking complexion. And this shade is LC6. I'm applying in areas where I didn't do contour. And yes, this is fragranced. Rose and Ben, her C42 foundation brush. Hmm, the color is actually really nice. It's a nice neutral undertone. Well, this is a little more luminous than I anticipated. I still have all of that foundation on the back of my hand. And we're gonna move on to this side. The texture is really nice. It's reminding me more of a hydrating foundation. Okay, so two things. Yes, it blends pretty good, <laughs> but if you're trying to layer after the foundation has set, it's not the best. I added a little bit more product right here to my jaw because I feel like it wasn't even with the rest of my face, especially my cheeks, because I did contour. And then after I added more foundation, you can see it looks a little heavier when I'm looking around my jaw, which usually I don't really have an issue with my foundation looking heavy around my jaw. It's looking heavy and I'm not liking the way it's looking on my skin. I do like the way it's looking around my cheeks. The forehead is okay. I can see a little bit of dry spots right in the center of my forehead. So yes, work one area at a time before moving on to the rest of your face. We have a new concealer by Givenchy, their Prisme Libre Skin Caring Concealer. This is a $37 concealer. Wow. So this is supposed to be a revolutionary, hydrating, 24-hour concealer formulated with a 95% natural origin ingredients that conceals, corrects, and cares for skin. So medium coverage, finish, radiant. I have shade C105. It's pretty bright. I'm gonna use my Rare Beauty concealer brush. This is supposed to give a medium finish. I think this is way too bright for me. 
I need like a half a shade to a shade darker. I feel like I'm applying a lot of concealer and it's giving me a very light medium coverage. It does stretch nice, but it's not really providing me coverage. I could still see my blue, my dark circles with the blue undertone. It's really pretty concealer, but I don't know if I can justify almost the $40 concealer. I think I like my <laughs> Flower Beauty, the Get Real, her new serum concealer beautiful concealer if you're looking for a new mascara this is not from sephora but it is a new formula from elf their lash and roll and if you're a fan or have been eyeing the new tower 28 mascara which was one of my favorites this one is better in my opinion first of all it's affordable a lot more affordable and i think it does a better job than tower 28 can't believe i'm saying that but i think it's better with New Blush by Colfi. I enjoy this brand. The full name is Long Lasting Radiant Cream Blush, 28 US dollars. You get 0.3 ounces. Kind of looks like Glossier packaging. And this blush color, I don't have anything like this in my collection, so I needed to have it. This is their Lucky Lotus. Wow, are you kidding me? That is stunning. Wow, that goes a long way. Feels really nice. It has kind of like a thicker cream texture, almost cream to powder texture. Wow, that's stunning. I'm taking my Rose and Ben C42 blush brush and really working it into the brush, the blush, but you can see it has set. So I'm thinking you have to work with it fast because this is not really, it's giving me a little bit, but it's very, very sheer. Let me get a new dollop because <laughs> it does. You can see how fast that set. All right, so it's still wet. I'm working that into the brush. But wow, that is really pretty. Very wearable. I do like how it looks on my skin tone. It's actually really stunning. Now I wanna say it's extremely luminous. It's not accentuating any kind of texture on my skin. The only thing I would say workability, you have to work fast with it. Otherwise it sets like that. Look at this. I have to scrub to get it off my skin. Last but not least, we have a new highlighter from Calorie. Beachy Gleam Hybrid Feels Highlighter. This has a transparent base, so that way there's gonna be no ashy undertone. It's supposed to visibly blur pores, fine lines, and wrinkles while hydrating skin with Eco Squalane. It is a $30 highlighter. I have shade Starlight Beach. I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Her 120 Highlight Face Brush. That's definitely uh, wet looking. Yeah, I wouldn't say it's exaggerating any texture. It is kind of making everything a little more smooth. I wouldn't go as far and say it's blurring my skin because it's not it's highlighting my skin, but it's not exaggerating. It does look a little more fluid. It's kind of melting in with my skin instead of just being a powder highlight. But this does look a little more wet and a little more seamless on my skin and a little more seamless with everything else. That's actually really pretty. I do like the way it's looking on my skin. I like it a lot. And for lip liner, this is not a completely new product, but I have been using this in pretty much every single video. I just can't get enough of it. This is the Tower 28, their one liner, multi-liner in shade Fill Me In. You can use this on your eyes as a eyeliner. You can use it as your cream blush and your lip liner, obviously. I enjoy this as an everyday lip liner with pretty much any kind of lipstick, lip gloss, lip balm is just amazing. Best $15 I spent recently. I'm gonna top it off with a little bit of Summer Fridays lip balm in vanilla beige. Okay, we were talking and we noticed that the foundation has oxidized, especially right here, where I added a little bit more coverage and it looks a little more oxidized on the center of my forehead. I'm just gonna have to kinda pick up my sweater a little bit higher, my zipper. <laughs> so you can't really see the rest of my chest. This foundation, it's a little tricky. The YSL, the new all hours foundation with the luminous matte uh, finish. I like it from far away because my skin does look even, but when you look up close and where I added a little bit extra coverage, it just looks a little heavy and dry. I'm gonna keep playing with it and trying it with different primers, but as of right now, I don't like the first impression. What I'm really excited about, I am really enjoying the Milk Makeup Contour as a contour. I do like the tone, it's very easy to blend, but I do like how Tower 28, the formula was easier. Enjoy the blush, especially the color. I like that it's not exaggerating 
the texture of my skin, but I don't like how fast you have to work with it. So I wanna say it's extremely uh, beginner friendly. You have to really work it into your brush and then go onto your skin and work it in right away. Otherwise it does set really fast and I could see it becoming really patchy. I do like how pigmented it is and you need the tiniest amount to get a beautiful flush of color on your cheeks. I also like the highlighter. I didn't think I was gonna like it to be honest with you. This one, I do like that it has no base underneath, like there's no color underneath. It's strictly just pretty much highlight, just glitter, but very finely milled, almost wet glitter on your skin. And it just looks really pretty. And I like that it's not accentuating anything. I still don't know what I think about the Givenchy Prisme Libre Concealer. I think it's way too sheer for what it is, it's not a medium coverage. And I feel like I used a lot of the concealer and even adding a little bit more, it didn't really provide the coverage that I would want from a medium concealer, like a medium coverage. This is very sheer to light. And I don't know if I can justify the price for a sheer to light concealer. I don't love it. All right, I'm gonna keep you guys updated, see how everything is wearing, and I'll see you guys in a couple of hours. So we are at least three hours after the initial application. And I really like the way my skin is looking. It's looking very um i don't know how to explain it. it looks like i have a filter on my skin from far away i look glowy but like a healthy glow but also mattified in a good way i will say when you look up close you can see a little bit extra texture around the nose and especially right here in the chin and jaw where i did apply extra foundation and i still don't like the way it looks in that area so Going forward, I would just say go in with the full two pumps or pump and a half to get a medium to full coverage. Otherwise, it just looks really patchy and uneven and cakey when applying the extra layer on top of the existing foundation that has already set. Best part, the cheeks are popping. The highlight, the blush, it just looks so good, but it's not exaggerated. Like all the texture and the fine lines, not exaggerated. And another thing I don't like, the concealer the concealer has cracked right there you see that and i feel like my under eyes like my blue circles Mom. they're really exaggerated Mom. right now so i don't like the concealer for longevity but the blush and the highlighter mm, beautiful i'm just i can't stop looking at my cheeks right now it looks so pretty especially in the sun stunning we are 10 hours in and I kept telling Andre, honey, I actually like the way my skin is looking. I kept looking at my skin. I can't get enough of my cheeks. I think it's that highlighter and that blush. Mm, beautiful. <laughs> I'm still thinking if I can justify a $30 highlighter and what is it, a $28 blush. If you are or you have experience with cream blushes that are very pigmented and that set really fast, I think you'll actually really enjoy the new Colfi, their Mendy blushes. I like that a little bit goes a long way, but like I said, my big issue or my biggest issue is the workability, but the way it looks on the cheeks is gorgeous. The highlighter from Calare, chef's kiss. I'm excited to put the highlighter all over my face. It is so beautiful. I keep catching myself in the light and the natural light and the fake light is just a very beautiful highlighter. Highlighter that just gets prettier as the day goes on. I honestly can't wait to wear it again. I'm so excited. Now going to the foundation. What I like about this foundation, I like that the finish is stays a soft matte finish, but with that really subtle luminosity, when it was setting the foundation, it was very matte, almost borderline like drying matte but then 30 minutes into it it started to look a little more soft and then as the day went on like i still look pretty airbrushed right here even where i applied a little extra foundation and where i don't love the way the color looks on my skin but the way it's sitting on my skin it's actually really pretty it's not extremely heavy looking so i will say going forward like when i was mentioning i am not going to apply two layers but go in with the amount that i think i need and try to blend in really fast like right away just because the foundation it did set a little faster than i thought but i do like the longevity of this foundation i'm kind of up in the air i'm gonna keep playing with it but i'm not completely sold on this foundation yet also not sold in the concealer i keep looking and i kind of feel like it just it's still there but it's disappeared in a way it's wearing nice 
but it's not providing me that coverage that I want from this type of a concealer. I'm just very excited about the Cali Ray highlighter, highlighter and the Colfi Mendy cream blushes. Very excited. <laughs> I'm gonna leave it here. Thank you for watching, spending time with me and Emirate, <laughs> and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.